Hey everyone, before this video starts, I'd like to give a special thank you to all my Patreon and Twitch subscribers. If you'd like to learn how to support this channel, possibly for free, just hang out till the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. All right, listen. So I was just, I, I follow libs of TikTok on Twitter, and I came across this video here, and, and it just annoyed me. I, I'm honestly tired of libs of TikTok. Listen, I followed them because they had some, they, they originally they would just put up some like silly examples of like silly people on TikTok that were too far left and it was fun to laugh at them. And over time, I've seen them go like more and more um, in like, I guess a political sense and just kind of just showing themselves. And it's just been annoying and embarrassing. Like this whole Delta thing where they're trying to cancel Delta because they kicked the guy off the plane who wouldn't wear his mask and was uh, wearing a fuck Joe Biden t-shirt. Um, it's just like so annoying. They're just fucking insane now. Like the, the fame has gotten to their head. The fame has gotten to their head and it's just like annoying. So instead of watching what they said here is a man kicked off Delta for wearing an F Biden sweater, even though he took it off, they claim it's Delta's policy and threatened him with the no fly list. I spoke to Delta and it turns out they don't even have a clothing policy. Now we're going to watch the videos on here to get like an accurate full representation of what's going on. Because this would be better. And, you know, of course, Libs of TikTok didn't put everything there. They just put like that one there. But really quick, first and foremost, when it comes to the policy right here, I actually looked it up. So what is uh, Delta's business class dress code policy? Well, I don't know if it's business class. But the policy is basically, um, you know, uh, when the passenger's uh, conduct, attire, hygiene, or odor creates an unreasonable risk or offense to annoyance of other passengers. That's pretty open information here, uh, or barefoot, which I doubt the guy was. But, you know, it was there several. He refused to wear a mask or take his, his jacket off or whatever, and then eventually it escalates to them kicking him off the plane. Just take the fucking, to put a mask on. Um, but Lives of TikTok, they showed their DMs to Delta. This is how they confirmed it. Hi, thanks for messaging. And this is, if it even, let's just assume that this is true. Hi, thanks for messaging with Delta. My name is Ashley. I'll be happy to assist you. Hi, Ashley. I was wondering if you have a clothing policy for passenger flying Delta, specifically slogans or words for on my clothing. No, as I have checked, there is no clothing policies on Delta. Okay, thank you. Sure. Do you have anything else? So technically, I can wear a shirt that says F Donald Trump. No, oh, no worries. There's no clothing policy on Delta. You can wear anything you want. Thanks. First of all, I don't even believe this is true because there is a clothing policy on Delta. Like at the very least, they would have responded like, oh, you need to make sure that you wear shoes. I'm not even kidding. They would have responded with a copy paste message of like our clothing policy can be blah, 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 blah. One of them is that you can wear shoes. I don't even think that this is real. I'm pretty sure that this is fake. But either way, you you said a shirt that says F Trump, not fuck Trump. It's just completely disanalogous. And you didn't bring anything up about the fact that he wasn't wearing his mask as well. It's just like crybaby bullshit. Like I, it's, it's like, oh my god. And also, why not just take the fucking sh the sweater off? Why not take the sweater off and then make a video saying they're trying to, they they want to kick me off because I'm wearing a fuck like Biden sweatshirt? Blah blah blah. It's just stupid and antagonistic, and it's so fucking annoying. But let's watch the whole thing. I'll just call Atlanta and speak to corporate security. Okay. And if you do come on the jet bridge, flip the shirt in outside, in and out, right? So that word doesn't show. I will have to zip in the whole aircraft. Okay, so what he just, she just says you have to like get off the plane or go into the cabin of the plane or whatever, flip the shirt inside out, go into a private area, flip it inside out, and then you're good to go. That's what she's telling him right now. Okay, sounds completely reasonable. I would just take it off, take it off and put it up in the fucking front or whatever, in my, my clothing or something. No. I'm sorry about that, sir. It's just Delta policy. You cannot wear it. And they did advise me also you would be on the no flying list. Yeah, okay. So okay. just take the shirt off. So you want to come on? And then here's another thing. We both know that there are still mask mandates on planes. And he's just not wearing his mask correctly. You know what I mean? Like, listen, I don't like mask mandates. I'm vaccinated. I'm going to have to go on an airplane soon. And it's going to piss me off that I'm going to have to wear a, a mask. But you know what? I'm a grown man that understands that you can't always get what you want. So I'm going to wear the mask. That's it. That's literally it. This is what you learn as a child. Stop being a fucking pussy. Like, I don't know. Just wear the mask. It's not unreasonable. So he's got the shirt on, like his other shirt on, and he's not wearing his mask correctly. I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's, it's crybaby bullshit. On the jet bridge, let's just keep the shirt and get everybody else to wear it. You have yet to show me something. All right. It's a policy. a policy. And you can call, and we could go ahead and look it up online, right on the jet bridge. There's a computer. If it's online, just pull out your cell phone. But that's not inconvenient. No, 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 no. You're making this inconvenient. Because last time I checked, I live in the United States of America with the First Amendment, freedom of press, freedom of speech, or freedom of religion. 
I don't understand. Like, does he think that Delta is like an American? It's such a weird thing because usually I, I'm personally not up. Like, I'm a, I'm not a big fan of communism. But like, it's weird how I guess this guy is because his argument is like, hey, private business. I, we live in America, so you should operate 100 percent around like American whatever. Well, the government doesn't own it, so like, yes, you have freedom of speech. But does like if you go around and go like, hey, uh, fuck n words, they're gonna kick you off the plane. Okay, you have the freedom to say it, but like it's not freedom of consequences. I don't really know what to tell you, bro. Like, do you want it to be completely government run where you can do whatever you want? I don't really understand. Just change the fucking jacket. I don't understand. I don't get it. Do I not? Ma'am, do I not? No, no, no. Do I not? Ma'am, do I not? Okay, so Do I not have the freedom of no press problem. or freedom of religion? I would have kicked him off the plane already. I would be like, okay, we were going to take you off the plane. You're done. You have freedom of speech anymore in this country? It's something very simple. It's not There's a virtue signal about like the Constitution is what it is. Like We understand everybody should have freedom of speech. But like if you go into a restaurant, uh, if you go into a private business, like, hey, we don't like that thing. It's not discriminatory. They just don't want you to have a curse word on your jacket and to wear a mask. It's not discriminatory. If he was on the plane that said, I'm not a particular fan of Joe Biden, then absolutely. But we're not doing that. Okay? Yeah, we have the right to bear arms, too. Should we be allowed to carry guns on the plane? Oh, well, I think that's unreasonable. Well, then this is unreasonable. It's not simple. It's not simple. My dad served in the United States. No. No. My dad served in the military, so I got the freedom today. Okay. It gives me the, I'm a future U.S. Army soldier. Like that J-R-O-T-C kid. You remember that meme? That's the energy I'm getting here. And now you're telling me okay, I have to take sir. off my hoodie. No problem. Wow. Okay. What's going to happen? I'll just call Atlanta and speak to Papa. Okay, great. So he's just not complying because he's a child. Then he gets kicked off of the Delta Airline for being a pussy. Then the guy wants to come and speak okay, to well, you, okay? I need to get his name and his class no, number. I'll give you everything. Mm, are you sure? Because I'm glad you're on. Okay. I'll give you what you want. I'll give you Okay. I'm at, imagine this. You got yourself kicked off the plane for no for for what? For a shirt? You must have not actually needed to be going anywhere. Like, what? It wasn't important to you at all, I guess. Because, like, you just got kicked off your flight for it. So, well, can I get my luggage off the airplane, please? Step up. We're going to take care of that. All right? Can I stick in my luggage? Or? Look at the top comment. Yeah, it would have never happen if it was making fun of Trump. Uh, maybe. I mean, like, I guess prove it. Like, fuck, like the fuck Trump thing. I mean, what he's doing, this is, just seems so unreasonable. I don't understand. The Trump, yeah. Or, can I stick in my luggage under the airplane? They said twice that they're going to take care of it. Shut the fuck up at this point. Yes. It's going to be in Los Angeles. Let them pop security. Wait, they're not even going to take his stuff off the plane. It's going to go to Los Angeles. <laughs> well, I mean, they, what are they supposed to do? Unload the entire plane, whatever's in the belly of the cabin? Is that the words that I'm using right? Whatever. What's ever in like, the, the plane? Like, what are they supposed to do? Unload the whole thing because you wanted to be a fucking non compliant dickhead? Go get it at the airport. Oh, wow. I would say fuck it. You can you can get it from you can get it from there. What an asshole. What is your name? My name is Shirley. Shirley, no. Do you have a badge number or anything? Or my any first name is fine. I'm the, okay. only, I'm the only one. And you're the supervisor? My supervisor is back here. Okay, what's her name? Um, he wants her name. Oh, sure, I'll have a conversation with you, Shirley. Okay, this is... <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. This is one day after sitting down with Senator Ted Cruz and Senator Johnson in a Capitol building. Oh, yeah. So it sounded like he wanted to make a political statement. Like he just wanted to be obnoxious for the sake of being obnoxious because he wanted the publicity. So it looks like he went to talk to the t Ted Cruz and then he orchestrated this whole fucking like childish engagement on the airplane. So he'd get kicked off so that like more conservatives can virtue signal about how like we're losing freedom of our country because somebody won't wear a mask and just won't take a curse word off of his shirt. It's like, holy fuck, shut the fuck up. I get kicked off for wearing a hoodie, which I made a phone call. They said to take it off to get to my destination. Took it off. 
That's not even what they showed. He argued with them excessively until they kicked him off. And then he was like, I'll take it off. It's like, what? Like, shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. I After they said they're kicking me off, I did say I would change. I would take the shirt off. So actually, they're being very unreasonable. Shut the fuck up, dude. Like, you're being so bad faith. I, they, I wouldn't keep on the plane either. What's the chances you're just going to put it back on? And then, like, what? Just so that you could be an asshole. I took it off. And, yeah, I'm still getting kicked off the airplane. Okay. So... That's the airplane just got kicked off of. Wow. Incredible. Wow. You guys really think this is okay? You guys, wow. Yeah, I think it's totally I fine. I spent over $600. Wow. It's so weird. Like, if I spent $600 on something, I would be like, I would be, I, I'd be, let's say you were pissed. I'd still adhere to the thing. Like, they're not asking you to scrape the fucking skin off the bottom of your feet. You know what I mean? Like, they just ask you to change your shirt. So I would be pissed too. Let's say let's say I actually was mentally fucking unstable like this guy. I'd be I would be annoyed too. But I would just change it so that I don't waste my six hundred dollars. Whoa, hot take, right? Wow. This is really great. Wow. Well, at least you're enjoying it. Wow, this is I really got it real since I'm not on an airplane no more. Take this off now. Well you're still in the airport, so you should put it back on, but of course, you don't really give a shit, so. Black Diamond hey, thank you so much for the sub, brother. 20 months. Holy shit. Just resubscribed for 20 months. What's up, Papa? What's going on? All right, so so the next off, one. Okay. All right, so this is him showing that he'll take it off after he already escalated. I'm taking it off, okay? You guys force me to wear my mask. I don't want to wear it. See, the victim complex. You force me to wear my mask. Oh, oh, bro. Oh my god, you're such a fucking crybaby. Jesus Christ. I can't wear my hoodie. It's off. I'm gonna go sit down. You guys- He's not even wearing his mask now, too. And, like, you know that the policy is. So you're moving without- uh, Bro, you don't need to take your mask off to take the shirt off. This is insane. I would have kicked him off, too. He's just being antagonistic so that he can put it up on Twitter. Or that's it. That's our TikTok. That's all he wanted to do. You guys better not bug me for the rest of the day. Because whatever you guys come up and say to me, will right, be recorded. Me will be recorded, and you guys will get sued. I oh my God, he's so annoying. To you, so you want to come on the jet bridge and speak to me? So I'm still getting kicked off the plane. Hmm? So I'm still getting kicked off the plane. Hold on. Yeah, he doesn't have his mask on still. Okay, great. To you. He's just he just leaving the mask down. Like he has it on, but he's leaving it down. He's being antagonistic. So you wanna come on the jet bridge and speak to me? So I'm still getting kicked off the plane. Mm -hmm. So I'm still getting kicked off the plane. Yeah, you're not putting you're not wearing the mask. I'm the put, I literally just to took you. off my hoodie. If you ask me nicely, I will come back on that, which I was doing. What? Dude, oh my but god. As you came back up yeah, this girl's embarrassed by this guy. Sure. All right. As okay. you can see that I'm relating the message to you what the captain says. He said he doesn't want you off the aircraft anymore. Okay, so okay. what's your name, brother? If you have John L. Brooks, John L. if you have a person who's refusing to change their attire and then constantly won't wear their mask, even when they're told what, like this, is what happens? They take off. He takes his mask off. What are they supposed to do now? They have to land to kick him off the plane or something, or they let him on the entire flight. And like for what? Like he just he's acting like a fucking child. Like I don't know. If you ask me nice, I'll put it on. They've been asking you. Like oh my god, the victim complex is incredible. Yeah. So currently, Delta Airlines is kicking me off for, I mean, I wore my max the last time in the whole fight. Okay, so why don't you just do it this time, too? Uh-oh, we uh -oh, we got this Karen. She pulled her mask down when no one was looking. We got to get her, too. Come on the jet bridge. I'll have the captain come and speak to you, okay? Oh, yeah, go ahead. That's... Damn. I feel bad for the girl next to him constantly having to get up and sit down. Uh, it's J A U N E I L. J A U N E I L. Okay. J A U N E I L, yeah. Okay. Just look at my name and you see what happened yesterday, so. They're not going to want to see this. Oh no, the conservatives are not going to want to see this. Dude, you're such a fucking coward. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. 
And this is what's wrong with our country now. This is what's wrong with our country. What? What's wrong with the country, dude? I don't get it because you have to wear – like, listen, again, I don't like wearing a mask. It's annoying. But, like, you're going to do it, especially on an airplane. I think it's all, like, recycled air or whatever. I understand why they'd have you wear a mask on the airplane. It is what it is. <laughs> getting kicked off anyways i'm also put back on it's too cold anyways i'm from california anything that's 30 degrees is cold anyways so that's just absurd okay again he's doing as much as he can to be extra and antagonistic oh i haven't even left the plane yet well you know what i'm gonna put my jacket on right now to show you guys it's like dude this is what he's acting like it's fucking crazy hey can you send this to my email for me my email what? Yeah, J-A-U-N-E-I-L Brooks, B-R-O-K-S at gmail.com Okay What's happening? Okay Alright, so based on what my team has advised me is that you were wearing this obscene shirt which they asked you to remove and you refused to remove it as well as you weren't being compliant with your mask and yeah. so I took off my mask so I could take off my hoodie. He wasn't wearing his mask like the whole time. He was just wearing around his thing. He's so full of shit. There's, there's video of me taking off my hoodie, mm -hmm. and I'm sitting back down with my hoodie off, yes. and me putting back on my mask as soon as she came back. Oh. Bro, he walked from the back of the plane, maskless, sat down, and didn't even have his mask up when she came back around. Like, he's like, I got caught, so I was listening then. Okay. Okay. So, I don't know where this is coming from. It's all on camera. Okay. So, I can only go by what I was advised by the team. Advice? Right here. Oh, what's up, man? Hey. So. Are you finished the conversation. So, they have asked that you've been removed from the flight, which we have. Okay. Because you refuse to wear the mask and you have on a hoodie that's. Still <laughs> We're standing with you. This is, unlaw keep this is unlawful. Keep recording them. Sad to say we no longer live in a free country. This is so embarrassing. It's okay. It it is okay. BLM hoodies and masks can be worn. What the hell? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be okay that you could wear a BLM? He's not saying like I. Uh, he didn't. He doesn't have like a pro Trump mask on, right? There. It's funny because there was one that from a while ago. I remember there was like, oh, I got kicked off the plane for having a like an I love Trump mask or something. It turned out she had like a fuck your feelings mask on and she changed it to the other one after like a long time and then you're like okay you're out you're leaving now and this is what they do this is what people do like he did it um they don't comply until they're told that you have to leave and then they're like oh i'll comply now and it's like well it's too late motherfucker you know you, you you've shown that you've been incredibly bad faith so delta does not permit you wearing okay okay um we have canceled your ticket so it would be refunded to whatever credit card you use wow see that's nice of them they gave him the money back i wouldn't have done that that's fucking they did that's extra good for them okay to make the purchase yeah. okay made it to lax okay great okay so out of curiosity, what airline did you end up flying back to California on and did they let you wear your tutti? So here's the thing. I honestly think it was a bias situation because oh, one, yes. when I was trying to buy the ticket for American Airlines, which was the um, company that I flew out to LAX on, um, they're like, well, before you buy a ticket, you can't wear the hoodie. So that was the first problem. So, so wait, another. Pl <laughs> okay. So what he just said was that LAX or whatever, or whatever other place he went through. What did he say? He went through American Airlines. They said, hey, you can't wear that hoodie on the plane. Before, why do you want to buy it? So here's right? the thing. I honestly think it was a bias situation because one, when I was trying to buy the ticket for American Airlines, which was the um, company that I flew out to LAX on, um, they are like, well, before you buy a ticket, you can't wear the hoodie. So they so another airline reinforced that you can't wear this hoodie before he even got on. So what he decided was to go to a different airline and be antagonistic, as if the policy was going to be completely different. So that was the first problem. So okay. you know, I'm just trying to get home at this point. So I took off the hoodie, bought my ticket. Two hours and two hundred sixty-three dollars later, I'm in LAX, and before I get off the airplane, I throw on a hoodie, and. A lot of people on an airplane actually liked my hoodie, and even a flight attendant did. Okay. And I was like, wow. So this is why I'm starting to think it was just a whole bias thing, because the flight attendant actually liked my hoodie.
what what okay who cares that's i you can like you can like somebody's hoodie and still know that it's not appropriate yeah did everybody clap oh my god you're a hero like okay somebody like check this out people people work jobs that's crazy you know, like, listen, I, you know, like, for instance, like, let's see, I work, I, just because I go to McDonald's and work there doesn't mean I like washing my hands after I piss. I don't do that normally, but it's the company policy, so I have to do it, you know? Personally, though, I didn't wash my hands after I pissed there, and they clapped, they, they clapped, they said, you're so brave for not washing after you peed all over your hands. You know what I mean? Like, okay, people are still people, like, they work for American Airlines or whatever fucking, like, that's it. And they were okay with it. They just thought it was funny. So they didn't, like, maybe they didn't, they, it's not even that they didn't enforce it. You were leaving the plane. These people did. Oh, well, they enforced the rule. Like, okay. And uh, shout out to her as she's looking. Okay. And shout Probably out to isn't. the girl who took a picture of her mom and everything in LAX. That was pretty cool. But so, yeah. And answer a okay. question. No, they didn't let me wear it on the plane. Okay, so nobody let it wear, you, wear it on the plane. And you think it's a biased thing. Okay, whatever. People make it about race where it's. Which ratings were it heads? I'm not even gonna watch that. Let's get our freedoms back. Okay, a lot of country songs. Okay, here we go. There's more. I think this is the last one he has here. This was the original video where it shows my mask being on. Why would I have to take my hoodie off because someone doesn't agree with it? Because it says fuck on it. I don't know what to tell you. Can you step on the jet bridge right quick? I have to talk to you for a minute. No, you don't. Right. Like you're just instantly disrespectful. This is the funniest thing here. Is when people act incredibly disrespectful and then they think that somehow they look good. Oh, excuse me, sir. You have to come with us because of your hoodie. No, I don't. Oh, bro, who the fuck do you think you are? I don't understand. All right. So if you don't do that, I won't be able to let you fly with this plane. Because of my hoodie? Uh -huh. Yeah. Because of my hoodie. Yeah, just flip it around. <laughs> right? I'm not doing that. Hey, can you? Bro, I don't understand. They're just like, please flip your hoodie over. It's not a big request. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You guys see that, right? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We got the complaint already on board. A complaint. Okay. All right. Uh, that's their complaint. Just like how they have the freedom to think what they want to think and have their own emotions. I have the freedom to work. So it sounds like somebody on the aircraft complained. Now, keep in mind, he already tried to fly with a different company that said, you just can't wear that sweater on there. And we read before that some of the, um, that one of the policies is like, if something that you're doing is disrupting or making other passengers uncomfortable, then you have to take it off. Again, it says fuck Biden on it. Like, I don't know, bro. It says the word fuck on it. Like, who cares? Fuck Biden. Biden's an asshole. Fuck him up the ass. I don't care. But dude, like, it's... <laughs> like I don't understand. It's like it's, it would be considered profanity. It would be profane. Why isn't there an issue with it? I, it's so interesting because conservatives are usually more about censorship when it comes to like uh, you know kids seeing uh, gay things or curse words on television or too much boobies. So you're all good for censorship when it comes to like a television show, but then for being like profan or having profanity, but then like oh you're on a plane where there could be kids. Like why not there too? I don't understand. I just don't understand, dude. It's incredible. What I want to wear. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not doing anything to nobody. That's their problem. And see, now he takes the mask down. He, now he has the mask off. It's not on correctly. So, okay. You do not want to do this. Ma'am, you, do you don't want to do this. I am going to sue you. He feels really powerful because he got to talk to Ted Cruz, and now he feels like he's a fucking god. That's what it really comes down to. I want to do this. Take care, take care of the You're not it's here not to... It's not a big thing. It is a big thing. I live, I'm live. i supposed to be living up. in a free country where I could wear what I want to wear. And you want to tell me to switch, take something off? Yes. Because yeah, it doesn't Delta agree to you? Uh, Delta's policy. Delta policy. That's, I, don't, that's, I don't think that's... You don't want to do this. My dad's a lawyer. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you, bro? Can you give me a paper where it says Delta policy and I will take it off? Let All me right. see it right now. We'll look it up. Oh, so now I got to look something up when you can't give it to I me. I said we. I didn't say I mean, like, the, I imagine that the hostess or whatever, what do you call them, flight attendants? I imagine they know the policy, but they don't have it on hand to be like, oh, it's right here. Usually, check this out, hot take. Usually when somebody um, does something that a flight attendant says is against company policy, they just do the thing, okay? There's, never, there's not usually an argument oh. to be had. There's not usually an argument to be had. Uh, isn't that crazy? People are just like, oh, that's annoying. That's life, dude. I don't know what to tell you. And you even know that this was wrong because you got you got told you can't fly on another airplane because of it.
So you took it off on the first one, and then you're like, people liked it, so I decided to. Oh my god. We okay. Well, I'll, I'm gonna stay so right you here. Step on the jet bridge with me? I'm not gonna step over All right, there. So let me get the captain. Look, this guy's recording too. Okay. Back there, oh, I think. Wow. Oh, what a heck of a week, isn't it? This guy looks so dumb. Well, this is the greatest way. To, this is just hate farming to be like popular. So yeah, man, lives on TikTok. Uh, they defended him. Um, and then they look at this. There's an article right now. This was black man kicked off the plane for wearing a fuck Joe Biden sweater. Black man. You see, don't you love how they're playing into the identity politics of the situation? His his being black has nothing to do with it. But the second that it's relevant, conservatives have the same dumb fuck game as uh, as fucking progressives do, where it's all fucking identity politics. A black man was kicked. Why does it matter that he's black? Does that make it worse somehow? Does it make it worse somehow that he's black and got kicked off for having like a, an inappropriate shirt on? They got a picture of her dumpy, though. Holy fuck. Sheesh. Maybe I should take a flight over there. Damn. Uh, a black man was allegedly kicked off a Delta Airlines flight recently for wearing a fuck Joe Biden sweatshirt. You got, you know what's so funny? Is this not the funniest fucking thing that you've ever seen? They won't even put the uncensored word in their article. Black man kicked off a Delta flight for wearing a frick joe biden shirt they won't even say it you're censoring it in your own article do you notice how fucking pathetic you look when you're chastising delta for not letting him wear a shirt with a curse word on it but you won't even say it on your website you think it's too obscene so you censored it you fucking censored it you you're so dumb do you want to realize how fucking stupid you look even fucking libs of TikTok censored it when they supposedly reached out to Delta. I'm assuming this is fake. Can I wear a shirt that says F Trump? Say the word. Say the word fuck. Fuck. Say the word fuck, but you won't even say fuck because you know that you look stupid. You're censoring the word. Okay, you're either intentionally doing it to present a disanalogous situation or you internally are like, that's a bad word. I shouldn't say fuck. That's the only two options. So either you know the word is bad and you agree it should be censored, or you're a fucking disingenuous pussy. This is fucking hilarious, dude. You guys are so embarrassing. Oh, my God. Flight attendant telling him that uh, <laughs> that it was the airline's policy, despite a representative saying no such policy in place. Video posted on TikTok by the man who identifies all of this, uh, I don't know, so John L. Brooks. Uh, showed him being informed uh, by a flight attendant that his sweatshirt goes against the airline's policies and requested that he turn it inside out or be kicked off the flight. A completely reasonable request, by the way. If you don't come on, on the jet bridge and flip your shirt inside out, right? So that word doesn't show. Okay. I will have to deplane the whole aircraft, the flight attendant said. Okay. Yep. And then he put his pussy post up there. Um, yeah, they were completely nice. I'm sorry about that, sir. You can't wear it. It's just crazy. He just refused to be compliant about changing his shirt. It's embarrassing. And the libs of TikTok, again, makes like, bro, it's crazy. Because like I said, I've watched them before. Um, and like some of their stuff was fun. Originally, it was like, I would just make it fun of some silly looking liberals. I was fine with that. Now, we're literally trying to cancel an airline because they, because you agree with them about the word fuck, but you just want a fucking virtue signal. You want a conservative virtue signal over this. This is embarrassing, bro. It's kind of pathetic. Don't you feel sussy, dude? Don't you feel ridiculous, bro? Oh my god, I wonder if their recent posts have like shit all over them. About this situation. Oh look, it does. Hey look, your uh, your support can make a real life change difference. Join us in supporting Red Cross to provide humanita hum humanitarian relief to help people affected by the conflict in Ukraine. So this is an advertising post for the conflict in Ukraine, right? Something that on the uh, on the scale is much more important than some asshole getting kicked off of an airplane because he won't change his shirt. And yet, hey, hey, look at this. Are you kidding? Why aren't you talk Delta, we have to cancel you for kicking this man off the plane when he refused to wear his mask properly and he wore a shirt with the, uh, to the word fuck on it. People are like, I'll find better avenues to support Ukraine. You were not going to fucking support Ukraine anyway. This is incredible. You see how, like, there's a backlash? These are people who don't even fucking fly anyway. Who cares? Like, nobody cares. This is stupid. This is fucking conservative virtue signaling 101 right here. And it's 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 just the desperation of conservatives to try to engage in cancel culture when they just don't like a thing. That's what it is. Now, it's not going to be successful because everybody looks at them and goes like, wow, you're embarrassing and pathetic. But, uh, you know, it's like, holy fuck, guys. Like, get over yourselves. This is fucking embarrassing.
Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.